Jean Bishop was too young to remember the Cold War nuclear testing being done in Nevada. As my mother told stories about our childhood, how she would stand out on the front porch with my older siblings holding me in her arms as an infant and marvel at the, the dust clouds that would come up from the test site. Her family later moved to Kingman, where her husband, who died from COVID, was from. As a kid, he also thought the mushroom clouds were pretty, but didn't know the wind could spread radiation to their homes. That's why they're called downwinders. And we didn't know what the health risk was. And when I say we, I mean people that came before me and, and after me. Doctors diagnosed Jean, her sisters and husband, with cancer. She and others in the county with cancer believe the nuclear fallout is to blame. In 1990, the U.S. government passed the Radiation Exposure Compensation Act, or RECA, that would recognize people as downwinders and give them a one-time $50,000 payment. But the act did not include Lower Mojave County. I truly believe that the government knew this testing was dangerous, and uh, they didn't warn us. In fact, they, they made us feel like like we were patriots by supporting it. For years, Arizona downwinders have been pushing for recognition and benefits. This week, Jean hoped the U.S. House would pass an extension for RICA, plus expand coverage to her community. None of that happened. Instead, lawmakers cut RICA. It's a frustrating letdown by our leadership, to say the least. We're not going to give up. I, we're going to continue to fight and, and, until the, there is no more fight left. All right, so uh, there were a lot of legislators that have said something about this. Uh, you know, they're not very happy. So we did hear from Representative Greg Stanton, who says that, I mean, he's been pushing for coverage and expansion of this program. And he says that he is profoundly disappointed. So he sent over this statement. Um, he says that Congress has a responsibility to do right by these families. He goes on to say that he'll keep working to get this done. And Representative Ruben Gallego also commented, saying it is is unconscionable that the NDAA, the year's most significant national security policy legislation, does not fix this injustice and that he won't rest until every Arizonan unwittingly harmed by radiation gets the compensation they deserve. Now, people living in Mojave County don't know what their next move will be, but they are working to figure something out. Rika is set to expire next summer. Reporting live in studio, Casey Torres, Arizona's family. All right.